Hey folks, this is Andy Shiles with Simply Trade Podcast and we're at the AIAG conference in Detroit and we are here with the CEO of the organization. Tell folks who, with your name and uh, are you based here in Detroit? Yeah, my name is Matt Pullman, I'm the CEO here at AIG. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks for being part of it. Thanks for speaking to us at, uh, at lunch today. You guys were great. Oh, uh, thank you. It was really nice. Uh, uh, but uh, it, uh, we're AIAG. Uh, we are at our uh, customs uh, uh, workshop that's going on today with a lot of speakers, a lot of tough on forest labor and many other things. So yep. thanks for having us. Well, it has been a very good conference. I will say that uh, folks seem to be it's about 300 folks, which is good. That's a great size because there's a lot of interaction. It's big enough that you can have a, a good conference and then it's small enough that you're making contacts and whatnot. So it's been excellent. It's a tremendous opportunity uh, to get uh, the industry together, especially yeah. the customs industry and the automotive space. Mm -hmm. uh, and you come to events like this and and you look at the, 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 you know, all the folks that are attending and you think all these different companies, but when they're here, you know, they've all, it's incestual. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There, there's a, everyone knows each other. They're, they're competitors, but they're friends. Yes. Uh, and it's nice. We've had events like this in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a while since we've had one last year. We combined it with a show. It was okay. Uh, but to get the focus just on customs, to get the Mexico, Canadian and U.S. customs representatives here and speaking, mm -hmm. industry spoke speaking. Uh, it's been very good. I hear great things so far about it. Well, it has been uh, the feedback that we have uh, been getting as we've interviewed, interviewed, uh, interviewed people. I'm, t I'm having a heart. It's the end of the day. I've talked so much, folks. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, the feedback has been great. Honestly, uh, they're actually learning a lot from uh, the speakers. Um, again, the great networking. The vendors seem to be very pleased. There's a lot of good interaction with vendors. So that's one thing. So I think next year's conference may even grow a little bit. It should. You know, once you get this going, they, they tend to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our fifth different event this year uh, at AIG. We're in the quality space. We're in the supply chain mm -hmm. space, uh, chemical compliance, IMDS. Uh, we do things in Mexico and in China. So uh, there's a lot. And as you do these things mm -hmm. and they go over well and mm -hmm. social media is making a big piece now, mm -hmm. as that becomes a, a buzz, uh, you get more people coming back the next year. So it's, I'm very excited about that. So let me ask this. In running the, the, uh, a trade association like this, that is so diverse in the different areas of, if you will, the industry. What's probably been your biggest challenge as you're leading this organization? Well, I've been uh, in the automotive industry for 40 plus years, mm -hmm. uh, and AIG is 42 years old this mm -hmm. year. Um, and uh, we've been primarily known as a quality organization, and mm -hmm. it started expanding into other areas. Uh, I've been in my role for two and a half years, uh, and my challenge was to, to try to get it out of primarily quality mm -hmm. uh, and uh, put more focus on some of the, the newer uh, EV space, the mm -hmm. sustainability space, uh, and many other current industry issues. So if you don't know AIG, uh, we're an industry association. Uh, our role uh, and our goal uh, is to, to solve industry-related issues and problems with best practices and standards. Uh, we do that uh, uh, by bringing the best in the industry together. We have, uh, we have meetings like we're having right now where people talk about the problems, we listen to what they are. We have steering committees that that kind of gather what they are, what they think the topics are, and then we ask, uh, okay, if we try to solve this, will you give us your subject matter experts? Mm -hmm. And by getting and we put those people into a room once a week, once a, every other week, or once a month, solve that problem. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, going on in that room right now is a forced labor initiative mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we started a year ago. Uh, Along, you know, with compliance and all the stuff that's going on with, yep. you know, importing importing stuff from other places, uh, but we're announcing six OEMs have come together with a common approach. We've got four industry IT solutions with a common solution, uh, and then they're gonna we're offering that to the industry as a common solution. The OEMs are gonna uh, put it out there, and hopefully over time that best practice will become a standard and get put in, uh, you know, their specific requirements. Uh, and that'll hopefully, as it, it, as it goes downstream through the supply chain, hopefully brings a lot of standards, but also brings compliance and helps the industry get better 
uh, and solving this initiative that is pretty big, uh, which is how do you bring stuff in and know that you're compliant? Well, and that is a challenge there is the, the working groups that you basically are putting together. Are there like a government, private sector, or is it all from your trade association right now? Well, we, you know, AIG is small. We're 50 people. Right. Uh, but we have at any point in time, 800 volunteers mm -hmm. uh, and various work groups. So we have, uh, it depends on the, the issue we're trying to solve, but mm -hmm. generally it's OEMs and tiers, mm -hmm. could be sub tiers. Okay. Uh, right now, this one included also the, the industry solution providers because you can't solve right. forced labor without having information all the way down to where it comes right. out of the ground. And you need a, there needs to be a solution for that. So that's why we got the industry. But we also involve sometimes universities. Uh, we might involve, uh, we do have relationships with the U.S. Customs, Canada Customs, Mexico yeah. Customs. And depending on what it is, we'll, we'll have them involved in these working groups as well. With that, you know, some of the service providers would be, you know, the, the companies that have AI technology, it's, you know, you've got to know where your supply chains is, customs would say, and, you know, tracking it out. Well, they're finding that out. Now the scenario is, as it's uh, revealing some potential problem areas, it's now trying to say, well, now what do you do with it? And it sounds like you're taking action in that to say, okay, here's how to handle it, especially pulling those OEMs together. Uh, I mean, everyone's got to be compliant. Whoever's bringing it into the country has to prove compliance. Mm -hmm. uh, and right now, I think, in general, it's a, you have to prove the negative because you're assumed if it's coming from certain areas that you're guilty and you have to prove that it's not uh, mm -hmm. from the, the forced labor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not from the forced labor uh, region or, or whatnot. So, mm -hmm. uh, so it's hard. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have to know. And, there's mm -hmm. a, and it's complicated because it's, uh, it's labor, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, bad actors, it's, a, it's, it's many different Middle pieces. Base, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and that was talked about in our, in our, uh, re, you know, the, the sessions today. Yep. Uh, yep. Excellent. Excellent. Well, if somebody wants to get, uh, involved with AIAG based on what you're looking at here, and it sounds like this is a great organization, which folks, it really is. There's some good folks in it. Um, what do they, who do they need to reach out to or what do they need to do? Well, if you get on AIAG.org, uh, you'll find a, a membership area in there. You can select on that and, and, and reach out. Uh, and you'll find a way to connect to AIG. We've got a membership group that will contact you and get back to you. Uh, nice. But we've got 5,000, close to 5,000 members. Mm -hmm. we got 38 OEMs. Uh, you know, all the big tiers are part of it. So it's a, it's a great organization. No, excellent. Thank you. If you are in the automotive industry, you are a supplier or whatever, this is an organization. If you're not already involved, you should give serious thought to uh, get involved with Thanks, Andy. Well done. Matt, you Thanks, been Mark. excellent. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Look Appreciate forward to it. listening to you. All right. All right.